Hey guys, um, it's Naya Keeper. It's been a while since I filmed a video, and this is gonna be uh, mainly an explanation video for the reason that I didn't film anything for a while. And also, I'm trying to show you my beautiful blue tail monitor lizard who's extremely skittish so I cannot approach it much but I can use the camera as zoom get the full tail I have two of these BDs and um, they are in separate cages now so I can monitor how they feed it's a nice big wooden cage that I recently bought and it's having fun in there while it's mate is in the big glass cage now I didn't film anything for a while because I didn't have anything to film unfortunately I finally got bitten um, not in my house but and here it takes off by the way yeah and we can approach it while I'm talking since it's gone well I didn't get bitten in the house I got bitten while I was looking for snakes in the wild by a uh, pitch black vipera aspis hello yeah I got bitten by a vipera aspis um, I was reaching for this rock uh, when I was looking for snakes and it got me on the thumb um, it was a small specimen both uh, fangs penetrated my thumb and I had to be hospitalized because of the venom I was in the hospital for four days three days in intensive care I had a lot of problems uh, with my blood it wasn't clotting properly so internal bleeding was probable also my thumb uh, pretty much decayed in front of my eyes um, fortunately after um, weeks and weeks it healed almost to perfection and it's still healing uh, because of this accident my family was extremely concerned so after around 10 years of venomous keeping I had to sell all my venomous animals um, my snakes are gone to real good keepers that are around I actually sometimes go and visit them I was quite partial to my um, Moroccan Cobra and my dead headers so um, I still see them sometimes but um, unfortunately this is the end to my venomous story at least for now um, I will uh, get venomous lizards in the future like uh, Gila monsters or Mexican bearded lizards I'm planning to have a colony of them but they are quite expensive and I don't have a job right now so it's not gonna be anytime soon I have to wait on that uh, I may also get some other monitor lizards but again um, I need caging and uh, cash for that so I need to find a job. I'm a geneticist but right now I, I, I'm unemployed and um, hopefully when I find something I'll have enough money to build on lizards. Now in the near, uh, not so near future I should say I may get back into venomous like um, maybe only to dead adders with um, antivenin at hand but um, again yeah that's not gonna be soon in the meantime I'll try to shoot uh, videos of these guys even though they're extremely skittish animals um, I will find a way to film them and hopefully I'll have some feeding videos and um, some close-ups and etc of Varanus Doreanus, um, aka Blue Tail Monitor. Here is the other animal's cage. Uh, pretty much similar setup. 
This is a glass cage uh, with a hollow log. That's a wood cage with a hollow log inside. But uh, the temperatures and stuff are pretty much the same. Um, anyways, uh, this was a short video explaining you the situation. As you can see, my cages are gone and my snakes are gone. But I'm healing and hopefully um, I will have some uh, new cool animals in the um, near future to show you guys. I will also add some uh, pictures of my thumb after uh, a week or so after the bite, maybe uh, 10 days after the bite. Um, they're pretty graphic, so I'm warning you beforehand. Um, if you don't want to look at stuff like that, you can pretty much close your um, window right here. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.